and I say your Hana Hase. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Make a beautiful baby. Okay, it's brighter now. Give me a second. So Currently on my period and I have cramps, so I haven't eaten yet. But I'm just going to check my my stomach. My I just did the second one. So it's been a minute, guys. This is September. I have to like two weeks left at home before. School finally resumes, and you've seen the hiking. If if, if you are in Nigeria, you know the news about school fees being increased as well as hostel fees. So you haven't balloted for hostels yet. Fingers crossed. Since it's my final year, I must get a hostel. Other than that, I did not vlog all through August because I a lot a lot happened in August. I was able to vlog bits and snippets, but. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to show you guys. You know, let's let's watch let's watch what happened or just the little parts I recorded in August, start September. And I say your Hana Hase. Good morning, guys. Let me put down my phone. I think it should provide better lighting. It's early in the morning. It's rained this morning. And I'm so sensitive to rain and cold right now. I did not have to go in the rain for me to catch a cold. All I had to do was just sniff in the cold breeze from the rain. And I got a cold. Now, I am going out today to go work also. But because I am going to be editing large files and I don't have the facilities for that in my area, I'm going to be going to a much profound area to go work. And yeah, that's basically it for this morning. So I need to I need to redo my hair, but that's in the work, not now. So guys, I got dressed in some way. Very casual, very simple. This is her. I need to carry this hand bag because the old um, Since it is currently raining, I want to take my plants outside to enjoy the rain. And it should stop stressing me the fuck out. Like it's stressing me a lot. I don't know if I'm speaking about my plants on this channel yet. I talk about it. Ah! My phone was resting on the plant. I talk about my plants a lot on Instagram. It's a little long, I need to get something to put I have this too. I actually completely neglect this one. The leaves are dying slowly. I have this too. I need to pick them out. 
outside. So enjoy the rain. So I want to make fried yam. I have yam with me. I want to talk about how I don't think you can see my face. So for like people like me that are not really good, or how would I put it? Our food doesn't come out nice all the time. It's just so not like rewarding after cooking. I know how they say there's reward when you cook when you get water. And you say some things like, oh, it's rewarding when you cook and the rest. It's really not that rewarding to me, to be honest. But it's only when I'm really interested in cooking the food or it's a new recipe I learned from mine, then I can see it is rewarding. So I just want to talk about a few things. Even though I complain a lot about where I stay or where I live and I don't like live in Lagos and I kind of don't have, well, I don't have a social life on a normal day, but I don't have a social life mainly because I stay here. I feel like if I stay closer to friends, my social life would be a tad bit better, but then my social battery dies quickly every time I'm outside. Like on Saturday, my social battery died. Almost immediately, I spoke to just one person on my social battery died. And I'm quite worried about you know, growing up and making friends and meeting new people and how hard it can it will be. Even meeting new people online is quite hard. But it's not hard to chat up somebody and meet someone online. I think it's just hard maintaining the conversation or maintaining the friendship with this new person. So yeah, growing up and um, using friends, making friends, using friends, I think it's actually a lot more painful to lose your friends than to lose a romantic partner. Especially friends that you have built a lot of you know, concrete you know, and solid memories with. For years, it's just my personal opinion. I have a, I had a very close friend growing up in secondary school, where like five or six, we're always together. But now we barely talk, or we hardly talk. Although we, we can't, like we are trying to reconnect, but I don't think it's going to be how it was because now, because of our environment, and she went to school in a different state. I also went to school. Still in school, she's done in school. In a different states, uh, different experiences of our past has kind of changed us and made us different people from what we remember ourselves to be. And it's just, it's just having growing up is having to deal with friendship, friendship breakups. Not like break up, break up. It's not we didn't we didn't we didn't break up. More like friendship fallout. And it's just sad that that happens. Although yeah, we are probably growing up and. Uh, figuring life on our own and figuring shit out on adults this adulthood and um, it's just it's just crazy and now uh, i'm seeing a lot of posts on instagram talking about let's normalize being the the low um commitment friendship because i guess i get like yes everybody's focusing on their life i'm also guilty of this i'm really guilty of this but it's just sad that that's what's like that's, that's what life becomes, all our dreams and hopes of all the excitement we had about growing up on the children just leads to this, working and working and working and finding fulfillment in work, which I am trying my best not to live. I don't want to live a life where I find fulfillment in my work, but I want to find fulfillment in friends and family and people I love. And like, work is just something that is making me money to survive. Get what I mean? So, um, coming back to where I live, I'm waiting for where I live because it's a very quiet and peaceful area and it has made me understand and enjoy my relationship with nature, quiet time, being alone, being my best friend, being my best company. Um, I can go days without talking to anyone. ready to go and even though it's raining I still have my songs I think I'll stick a cardigan at me in case the rain gets crazy. Let's see which should I wear. Okay. I'll be taking this one with me. You see LA. Hey guys so I'm making breakfast already. Well my laptop is on my bed I'm trying to get I want to write down my to-do list for today. So that's today going. Let me get my laptop charger. Yeah. 
Why do I feel like that light is too much? Let's replace the light. So my workspace is ready. Let's go check out one. Okay. myself a cup of coffee for this cold morning and I see my plants I put one beside me on my desk because I can't I don't think this is my plant okay so guys it's I'm actively, I'm not actively, I showed you old money Italian summer by Piero Piccone because I'm looking for Italian lo-fi song to use for my videos. Let's give this really, um, this songs really help romanticize life to be very honest. Once I'm on a call with my sister, she doesn't like me using that phrase, hop on the call, once I'm on a call with my sister. Like right now, because I had good news yesterday night before I went to bed, and I'm also going to write my to do list for today. I, I drink coffee, I'm cold morning. I am waiting my to-do list for today. It's actually my to-do list number six is running away. Run away, run away, run away. So I'm currently doing content research. I'm done doing content research actually. My, my, my laptop is in my bed. I moved to my bed. I'm hungry. I want to go make breakfast. I'm hungry. Early, but because I wake up early now, I'm forced to eat early because I get hungry early. I have been sitting on my, my desk since morning since I had uh, breakfast. The time is actually two already. I show I show my body proportions properly. My time is two already, and I've been working. I just I just got off meeting with this. I am interning at as a video editor. Right now, I am doing. I did set out and I was doing content research. <laughs> content research for content I want to, um, content research and content planning that I want to upload tomorrow, not, not tomorrow, that I want to film tomorrow and on Thursday and on Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, because I did not have time to film any video last week. And I'm short on my routine of having content out. By the way, guys. See, I'm having acne first because of my period. I don't have my lips. I whipped up my camera to make a video. I was like, damn girl, this looks bad. But yeah, that's basically what I'm doing now. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So I was I was sharing my favorite songs from last week on my Instagram. I was just making an Insta story just now. And I went through my old playlist. I titled the playlist Sad and it has songs like TV by the Irish Malibu 1992 by Coin, Hold Me Closer by the Earth, Trust from Baby by Tomorrow by Together. And tell me why Feels Like by Gracie Ad Abrams is here and it's just a beautiful love song. I feel like I should. It even has Gracie and Baby is even on this playlist. Like, what this feels like on doing on this playlist? It's such, it's such a beautiful song. Um, this playlist needs to my Spotify. Spotify is in the plane. 
but you can find me on spotify if you are interested in my music taste i have i have a little music taste i think i'm writing down my scripts for some of those videos i'm kind of sleep deprived right now i was thinking i'll be able to edit videos before i go to bed but the time is one seven if i stay awake for any longer I'm going to not function tomorrow and I need to function tomorrow to break up it. See that's it. I like you. <laughs> Guys, good morning. It's the next day. I was about to start doing my makeup and then I remembered oh the lap boy you started vlogging again. Okay. I'm currently doing my makeup and I think I should take that along with me. I don't know. So I just made a video on um, confidence and low self-esteem. My neighbor's gen is so loud, my god. Yeah, this petrol hike is not affecting this guy. I have mind, I'm talking and I'm doing my brows. Came out nice though. So I was talking about confidence and being a plus side. What's think of it? I don't know if I'll say I was bullied. I feel like bullying is a fast stretch. But I was called a particular name because of my body size in secondary school. They call me Bala in a very derogatory tone. I hate them so much. I was the Bala and I used to tell them so much. I tell them a lot back then. Can you stop calling me Bala? And when I say it, it would sound a lot more funny to the people that were like, oh, oh my god, Bala, so you stop calling her Bala. They, were, they, they actually, they hurt. They were really being called those type of, and Bala, in the context meant short and fat so it really affected how i saw myself and my self-esteem when like, growing up and mixing with other people because i thought oh if i mean this person this person will laugh at me and call me bala because i am short and fat and i was even fat back then all of them were just very skinny i was a size 8 or a size 10 back then and i was called short and fat so it really affected myself and how i saw myself it affected my self-esteem it took a long time for me to get over it but yeah i spoke about how to you know build your confidence and how i was able to get rid of my insecurity and be a lot more confident using fashion you should check out the video i'll link it down below. i'm not doing foundation today so i'm just going to brighten up my under eye because it needs it. I'm not going to wrap up my makeup and that few more videos. I was up all night. This is why I was up all night scripting for the videos I want to upload today. Hey guys, so my makeup is set and I'm about to film my videos. I want to change my top and change my accessories. My next kind, my next content is more of sit down videos and videos of me wearing clothes because I was I realized my talking videos to a lot better. I just get ready with me videos. So I'm going to test that out for a week and see how those kind of videos do. It looks so cute, my god. <laughs>